Alright, so I just uh, saw something that suggested that um, anti-static bags likely wouldn't work well as uh, Faraday cages because um, they're fairly low conductivity. Um, so I figured I'd give it a test. I kind of already did give it a test, but um, it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, so you can see that I have... Hang on, can I get this thing to... This... Ah, uh, whatever, just about minus 70 dB. And I actually have a... Uh, next to the battery there, I have a good cell signal. So... Going to... Okay, so I'm just going to... Oh, fuck, I should probably do it on a side that you can actually see still. Hard to do it one handed. Slip that in there. Close it up. And significant drop pretty quickly, but then um, at least when I was in a different area, it um, cut out completely. Let's try. Oops. Oops, sorry. Uh, wrong way for the gimbal. Okay, so, <clears throat> if we go over here, ah, there we go, no more cell signal, Wi-Fi signal has also dropped off, and we're right down to minus negative, Jesus, minus 90 dB or so, um, and yeah, a little question mark by the Wi-Fi symbol. Flip the phone out, and it's back. So, uh, oops. Yeah, and then we have our uh, cell signal back there as well. So yeah, it looks like a um, a static bag is actually not bad for a uh, Faraday cage. At least uh, this one, with uh, however it's rated.